Hello again my carpy friends, back out on the bank again chasing these big carp, fingers crossed we have a good in this, this trip, turned proper cold, arrived about two hours ago, absolutely lashing down, so I got all the gear out, all set up, everything sorted now, bivvies up, houses up and everything sorted, uh, rods out on the spots, back and deepens one again, as you can see, probably from behind me, Gone, going back in windy swim again. Um, I've been feeding three spots on a fairly regular basis, so I want to try and keep going for them. It's actually November now, which is quite late for deepens, I must admit. They normally switch off about now anyway for the for the rest of the winter, really. I have tried in the past to go through the winter time, but it's just dead. It's a total waste of time for some reason. But it's still fairly mild at the moment. It's only about 8 or 9 degrees, which isn't Baltic, is it? So we can live with that, so hopefully they'll still be on the move. Um, Archie's birthday in two days time so asked him what he fancied doing for it so he said obviously I want to go fishing grandad so here we are back down on Deepens 1 again Archie's out chasing the rud as you can see in a second just got set up there he is there's our Arch soon be 9 year old the big nine arch, how's the goods that? Yeah. Try and get you some more car key for your birthday. Yeah, yeah, thanks. That'll be good fun, won't it? Yeah. As you can see, the sun's just going down behind them trees over there. Just gone four o'clock, so like I say, it's 1st of November, so dark nights. Gonna be long dark nights in the bivvy tonight. That's it now for the rest of the year, I suppose. That sun looks class going down there, like. As you can see, the rods are out. Usual spots as always. Like I said, I've been feeding her like three spots up all the time. So on the usual bar spot, one here, one just there. One's actually on the bar, it's only about three foot deep, but you never know, they're always cruising on the top of the bar. One's in about ten foot, the base of the bar. Sneak past Archie. And the other rod's over here as usual. <coughs> you want to call me Snidey Rod? That one's about Probably about 12 wraps out, roughly in this area here, about 12 wraps out. That sun looks class, I must admit. So yeah, that's it. All set up, everything sorted, house is done, lake's looking pretty good. It's going to be a cold one again, I think, tonight. But it doesn't matter, you're on the bank, you're always in with a chance, aren't you? So, the old fingers are firmly crossed as usual, because you just never know, do we? So fingers crossed, see what tonight brings, uh, that's about it really, yeah, all sorted, everything's out, like I say, house is up, that's all sorted, so almost time for tea, have a quick brew first I think, and sort some tea out and stuff, and I'll speak to you all again soon, okay then, cheers for now, speak soon. Hello again everybody, just a quick wind up for the day. As you can see outside it's pitch black, hence I've got the Vivi light on tonight. <coughs> it's turned proper chilly. It's been my first trip for about three weeks this one because I've had a chest infection so it's either going to cure me or kill me all this fresh air. Been coughing like a blinking lunatic for the last half hour but hopefully I'll be okay. Um, quick cup of tea. I'll beat a cup of tea on a night like this. Archie's got his cup of tea as well. Plenty for it to cool down for him, so don't want to spill it. I have myself a nice little Nature Valley crunchy oats and honey bars. And Archie's going to have his favourites, good old Oaties, from uh, Little of course. These are nice days, man, I must admit. Very nice. Tower Gate Oaties. Can't beat them. Yeah, Archie. Cheers. <laughs> well that's it for now, like I say, all quiet outside, I've heard one, possibly two fish right down the corner of the lake, so they're obviously in the area, so I was in with a chance, just got to see how it goes, like I say, the long dark nights these, mind, 
it's uh, half past seven now and I'm almost ready for bed to be fair it's been dark for that long no bodies body clocks saying go to bed I think but like I say have a cup of tea a few snacks and stuff listen out for some more fish and then have an early night try and get some kip don't forget to woke up in the middle of the night by a screaming one toner fingers crossed just never know just never know right okay for now then i'll speak to you all again soon good night for now cheers now night arch good night everyone good morning my happy friends nothing to report i'm afraid absolutely boltlick proper frosty night totally dead during the night Not, nothing shown heard no fish jumping either which is quite strange for this end of the lake you know me, you hear them all the time but they definitely switched off for the time being nice sunny morning fairly bright like I say it's absolutely Baltic freezing cold looks absolutely bang on mine but you never know do we you never know we keep plugging away Archie's there with his rod just started It's too cold at the moment though, isn't it, son? Yeah. But his fingers are dropping off and he's putting his maggots on and stuff, so time for some porridge. You can have some porridge, you get warmed up and a cup of tea. Good start of the day. And I'll speak to you all again soon. Right, cheese for now. Hello everyone, just having a bit of a sunbathe in the sun, don't let the sun fool you though, it's absolutely freezing cold. The sun's nice, obviously there's a bit of a slight heat off the sun, but the wind's Baltic, absolutely icy cold. Needless to say, no runs as yet like, so just having a quick cup of tea for uh, redo the rods again. Actually he's got his fruit shoot there, good old fruit shoot, I've got my cup of tea so just chilling for half an hour, aren't we, dude? Yeah. Just in the hope that summer comes along at some point. Like I say, you never know. Our fingers are always crossed, just in case. Shouldn't have shut up shop yet, it hasn't gone really cold as such. There's been no really, like, long t times of, uh, like, coldness, really, like. So, there's always a chance, like I say. Hopefully, if not, it doesn't matter, does it? Still outside in the sunshine, I know it's cold like what outside in nature you can't beat it so yeah, happy days really cheers everyone Hello again everyone, all done now, rods have all been recast, all spawned out, a bit of thrown stick work as well, I haven't put too much out obviously because it's cold as you can see in the old big big jacket now, it's turned proper cold now, forecast one degree tonight, so not, not really looking forward to that but you never know, got to be in it to win it, so just have to wait and see, almost time for some tea, Actually, still plugging away, chasing the rud, which aren't playing ball either, which is bizarre. That's how cold it's turned. There's the main man having a go still. I am. Uh, nothing about. It's dead, isn't it? Yeah. Proper dead. Yeah. But like you say, we never know, do we? No. Keep your old fingers firmly crossed. Yeah, keep trying. Yeah, well, I. Quick look at the lake before it comes in dark. The sun's gone down behind the trees now, so it's turning quite chilly. Been a glorious day in the sun. Obviously, cold wind like what? Looks very autumnal, doesn't it? It's going to be a proper chilly one, but got to be in it to win it. Just never know. Just never know when. Right, I'm going to sign off for now and sort some stuff out for tea. Get cracked on for the night. Try and keep warm. Speak to you all again soon. Cheers now. 
Hello again everybody. As you can see, we've got to change the surroundings. We're no longer outside. Wound the rods in, clip them all up ready, just chuck them back out when we go back. It's that cold outside, we decide to come into the cabin that's on the lake. Because it's just too cold outside for the time being, so I'm going to use the uh, microwave oven. It's just the job. There's a toaster, fridge, all mod cons. For my tea, I'm having a soulful one pot, if you can see that. It's West African peanut and chickpea with fried rice. A nutty stew with black beans, sweet potato chunks and kale. I've had them before and they are really tasty. And for me afters, I'm having a pinch one of the good ladies uh, Skya fat free Icelandic style yogurts again. I hope she doesn't watch this one. Hi Glenda. High in protein, laid with cherries this one. So that's a bit different. So that's my tea. I actually want a bit of classic quiche Lorraine warming up in the microwave for his tea. Followed by a bit of low fat rice pudding. How good's that? Living the dream on Deepens 1. It's about as good as it gets really, isn't it? Proper car fishing. Right, I'm going to love you and leave you, and we're going to have our tea, aren't we, dude? Yep. Should be nice. Makes a change, isn't it, being inside instead of being outside, freezing yeah. all the bits off? Yeah. Looking forward to this. Right. Yeah. Catch you all again soon. Cheers for now. How good's this? Bon appetit, everybody. Enjoy that, dude. Good. Match is having his cage. I've got my little mm. funky pop spicy stuff in. Jobs are good. Mmm. I did on a cold on a cold night. Can't beat it. Good morning, me carpy friends. Nothing to report, I'm afraid. Another quiet night. Yep. Never even heard a single fish last night. You know me doing this end of the lake, I must admit. One single beat, that was it. That was the only excitement for the night. And rolled back over, back to Kip again. Early start this morning. Leaving early, early this morning because it's uh, Archie's birthday party this afternoon, so we've got to get him home for that. Otherwise, his mother will kick off. But yeah, still looks good. Nice fresh wind got up this morning, like. During, well, during the night, about three o'clock it started, I heard it. Proper southerly, straight down the far end of the lake. That's probably the place to be this morning, I should imagine. So, never mind. It's been a good trip so far. Um, have all breakfast, like I say. Quick pack down, and I'll speak to you about an hour's time when we're all done. Okay, then, cheers for now. Hello again, my carpy friends. It's a wrap. It's all over. Nothing to report this trip, I'm afraid, carp-wise. Still been a good trip. This could be our last trip of the year on Deepens 1, because it normally shuts up shop around this time of year, so I'll see how it goes. I'll keep my eye on the on the weather and the catch reports. It's been a re really good trip all in all. Enjoyed ourselves. Enjoyed having our tea in the cabin last night. I really enjoyed that. Had a go with this float rod again, as usual. No joy there either, which is a... A bit of a shocker for this place, but like I say, it turned proper cold, we had frost and all sorts, so it's to be expected. We had good fun, didn't we, dude? Yeah, it was good fun. We're all wrapped up now. Yeah, hopefully we'll have some more luck next time. Yeah, yeah. If we don't, I think we will, though. It's party time now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's it, it's a wrap, like I say. There's the lake, one last view. Could be my last view till next year, I'm not sure yet. Like I say, I'll just have to wait and see. Still looks bang on for a bite, like. They're still out there, that's the main thing. There's a few birds of prey over the back. Oh, they've gone down behind the trees, that's a shame. Had a better zoom lens, I could have showed you them. Not to worry. So that's it anyway, yep. Thanks very much for watching again. Hope you all enjoyed it. Like I say, if you haven't already, I'd love it if you'd please subscribe. And push the old bell icon so you get a, a ding every time I get a new video up. So it's goodbye from me, and goodbye from Arch. Bye everyone, like Grandad said, subscribe. I'm going to see you all again soon. Yeah. Cheers now, bye, bye. for now, bye.